Who's oh. that, Peter? Haircut. That's it, it's old fashioned. Oh, Quiet! Yes, yeah, shut up. You told me you wanted a classic 1940s style. That's how they was wearing it. I should know I'm old enough to remember. I said I wanted a 1980s version of a 1940s hairstyle. I didn't want a bald head. I suppose a tip is out of the question. There was a time when people wanted a haircut, now they want it styled. Well, things change. Fashion takeover. I remember you used to have some fancy hairstyles yourself, Desmond. Uh, that's because we had style, didn't we, Popeye? Yeah, man. For a man who claims he had style, <laughs> this place isn't the epitome of it, is it? What's wrong with it? Well, for a start, the deco is simply appalling. No color coordination. Well, at least it's original. You can say that again. You see that lamp? I was one of the first people I know to buy that lamp. Now everybody got one. <laughs> Nobody with taste has a lamp like that these days. I do. Need I say more? <laughs> I must fix this chair. Next. Uh, nobody wants me to cut the hair anymore. I better join you, Pope Pie, and take early retirement. You don't want to do that. You end up hanging around barber shops all day. <laughs> I want you to go to the supermarket for me. You see what I've been reduced to, spoke by? A gopher. Gopher? Yes, go for this, go for that. <laughs> I better go for college. Oh, what lecture do you have today, Matthew? Is education a panacea to social deprivation? Go. Oh, <laughs> I better not keep you then. Bye. Come along, Pope Pie, let's go. Hey, what's this? One tin toms. Oh, go on. <laughs> Yo, Mom. See you later. Yeah, Sean. Where do you think you're going? To school. And since when they changed the name of your school from St. Christopher to B Street Posse? No, 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 no. Beast Street with a T. I haven't got my T yet, though. Well, let me help you. Here's a sentence that starts with a T. Take it off. <laughs> no buts. No, oh, God. It's so not on your top. Yeah, it matches your teeth. Why? Mm -hmm. Vex. What is the Beast Street Gang? Oh, it's a gang of kids that hang on the East Street, right? And they put the B in front of the name and call it the Beast Street Pussy. Uh -huh. All right, girls. Hello, Lee. Oh, where is everybody, eh? Gone shopping. They're taking early retirement. Hey, Lee, you told me to put it on a bit of string and shove it round your neck so you don't uh -huh. lose it. Like. Uh -huh. No, just uh -huh. go serious. All right, all right. What are these, eh? Oh, let me guess. Um, earrings? Oh, get out. Keys? Yeah? Car keys? Yeah. He's got your new car. car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what happened to the old motor, the black man's wheels? It was nice. No. Black man's wheels? BMW. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so conspicuous, always getting pulled up by the old bill, isn't I? Yeah, would you fancy taking me to school then? Oh, well, I've got no business here, have I? Come on. <laughs> well, I'll uh, be off then, Mum. See you later. Sean, what's in the bag? Uh, my pee kit. Let me see it. What do you want to see it for? You've seen it before. Go and put that jacket back. I've got mum. No, no buts. buts. Right, can I just see Lee's new car first, please? and I ain't buying nothing yet. <laughs> oh, Lord, I wonder who the police wanted my glory and leave. 
Maybe they want to know the name of the tape leaf lane. That is a hard tune. Oh, shut up, book pie. What's going on here? What, what, what are you doing in this car? What's going on here? Where is everybody? Gone shopping. The customer's gone with them. It's Wednesday, Michael. We're never busy on a Wednesday. I've been looking at the figures, Mother, and frankly, every day is Wednesday. <laughs> but we've got to do something about our image. I mean, for a start, what is that man doing on the phone? Making a phone call. I know, but he's always there. Well, that's because none of the phones around here work. British Telecom said that nine out of ten public phones are now working. Yeah? Well, Peckham's got the tent one. <laughs> I still think that this shop needs a radical change. We have to convince Father to move with the time. Michael, sit down. Just sit down, please. Go easy on your father. You hear? You know what happens to him every time you mention the words radical and change. He goes a distinct shade of green, his eyes pops out of his head, and you two end up arguing. Hmm. He's been running this shop his own way for more than 20 years. <laughs> yeah, we've never made a great profit, but we've never made a loss, and none of our children have gone without. I'm proud of you, Michael. But I'm also proud of your father. So just hold back the revolution, yeah? And let's do things gradually. And when this shop is yours, you can revolt to your heart's content. <laughs> gradually. Gradually. Yeah, fine. What are you doing back here now? The bank's closed? Lunch break. I just popped in to see Father about the accounts. Oh, you want something to eat? Listen, I got some stew and some banana fritters. I've, and... I've eaten, Mother. So you eat already? My food ain't good enough for you. Uh, it's, it's not that, Mother. It's just that every time I come in, you try to shove something in my mouth. I don't know anyone who likes the sound of his own voice like my eldest son. Hello, Father. <laughs> what kept you? The police are almost kept us. Uh, uh, po po Pope, I took them bags upstairs. What happened? Well, they wanted to see Lee's particulars, but everything was in order. We seen everything, didn't we, Pope Pai? Yeah, ma'am. You see, he was driving along, and suddenly he yeah, got yeah, up yeah, the yeah, car. Yeah, 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 okay. That's my mind, Isha. But I... Hi, that's my wife, then. Hi, Bert. Mm -hmm. Right. How you want your haircut? It's all right, I'll wait for Shirley. <laughs> You want a haircut? Yes, yes. Well, that's what I'm giving you a haircut. Uh, Dad, that's Shut up. <laughs> I've come to get my hair coiffured. Look, this is Desmond's barber shop. If you want your haircut, stay. If you want it coiffured, quaff off. <laughs> Look, Desmond, I didn't come here to be insulted. Why not? You didn't come here to get your haircut? Ha, huh, haircut. What do you know about a haircut? You wouldn't know a good one if it poked you in the eye. Uh, <laughs> gentlemen, please. Shut up. Okay. Who are you, anyway? I'm his partner. You mean you got someone stupid enough to be a partner? <laughs> what do you mean, stupid enough? Look, man, get out of my shop. Yes, come out. I mean, no. <laughs> Don't worry. I am going. But I, 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 now look what you've done. Me? Yes, you. Our only customer, and you forced him out. This is no way to run a business. Since when you got the cheek to tell me how to run my business? Since I became a partner. Why did you become a partner and tell me how to run my business? That's because we can be more efficient, and I'm here to do that. And tonight, I will show you my business plan. It's called a new step forward. I suppose a new step forward means me taking one step backward. No, not really. Just sideways. Gradually. Gradually. <laughs> Right. I've looked at the accounts, and profits haven't been too steady since 1980. There was a sharp increase between 84 and 85, but I don't know why. That's when the doctor told him to give up drinking because of his blood pressure. <laughs> so then what happened after 85? He stopped going to the doctor. <laughs> them doctors is all the same. You tell them you got a sore throat, they tell you you got a sore foot, then they give you a prescription for high blood pressure. <laughs> I went to my doctor about my migraine and he... Yeah, migraine? Isn't that a middle-class headache? <laughs> Since I've become partner, we've started to become more organised. The accounts are up to date, the shop's well stocked, and we're also in the black. Now, what else... Uh, look, look, get to the point. I'm fed up with all this Tory talk. Yes, hey. man, get on with it. What does all this mean? Give him a chance. Go on, son. Thank you, Mother. <laughs> now, 
All this means that A, you should stop drinking, and B, we need a new stylist. Ah, now I know what a new step forward means. Step on Desmond. No, no, no. Nobody's trying to get rid of you. What Michael is suggesting is that we get someone in to work with you. No. Beside you? Well, I... Uh... Under you. Ah, well, yeah. <laughs> Where do we find this new junior? His name's Tony, and he's the best in town. Well, he would be. We have to speculate to accumulate. Look, he'll bring enough custom with him to pay for himself. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> I don't trust that smile. He's up to something. Hey, Michael. Who's Elizabeth Riley? And Sophie Thomas? And Brenda Jenkins? Uh, just some business clients. Leave that alone, Sean. <laughs> they tell me I can't cut hair that I need a new stylist. Matthew, when I finish with your hair, I'm going to make them eat the words. <laughs> what are you going to do with my hair? Well, there's no need to take it so personal, there's I'm no... not taking it personally. What are you going to do with my hair? Uh, keep your head still. The new stylist studied for five years at the top academy. What's five years at the top academy compared with 25 years in the sharp end? Yes, but what are you going to do with my hair? Matthew, when I'm finished with your hair, you're going to be the talk of the town. Ah, <laughs> but I think I've got to catch a plane for Africa. Father, may I take this opportunity to introduce you to Tony? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> A hundred proof pure rum. <laughs> Guaranteed to kill all household germs. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> That's if it don't kill you first. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's sleeping upstairs. <laughs> yes, ma, you tell me that. We know that. You just have to tell you again. Give us some of that rum so we don't forget. <laughs> hey, Tony coming tomorrow. Who, who's coming? I told you already who he is. Uh, my whole uh, Ah, the white boy. <laughs> yes, my new stylist. They're gonna use him to try and force me to retire. Well, I thought you wanted to retire. I do, but in my own time. Maybe well, better hurry because you don't have much more time. <laughs> oh, whose side are you on? Tell me something. If you don't want him to come, why don't you tell him to go? Because his family want him to stay. So why don't you tell them to go? Because he's still be here. So why don't you and him go together? <laughs> because... Well, my look, give me the rum. You drink too much already. Ah... Uh. Uh. Why... These are rootless times we live in, for pipe. Even my chair let me down. I'll go fix it once and for all. Uh, give me something to jam it with. <laughs> give me a domino. Can I use my domino for that? This is a high quality set, you know. Four five. coming tomorrow. <laughs> Popeye, get out of my shop. Didn't you think he was tasty, Mum? Who was tasty? Trendy Tony, of course. Trendy? You call him Trendy with all them holes in his trousers? <laughs> your mother must be ashamed of him walking down the street looking like that. Look, people pay a lot of money for them to look like that, you know. Mm, so I'm wasting my time mending Sean's trousers. All right, ladies. Oh, listen, sure, I've got a lovely little number for you. You like this, Claw? 
Yeah, you know me rules about dodgy gear. Off the back of the lorry, like. Sweet as a nut, you know what Look, I mean. Look, I know all about the rules. Don't worry, this stuff's sweet. Listen, right? Wafer thin, credit card, solar. I repeat, solar powered pocket calculators. I'll show you how it works, all right? Well, do I have to be outside for that to work? No, no, they work indoors as well. Just. <laughs> need a bit of sunlight. <laughs> you don't want to buy one, dear. Come in useful when you go back to Guyana. I'd better be off. See ya. Math, you'll have one. You take them back to Africa. They got the climate. What a touch, eh? <laughs> cool. Sean! What? What's this? That is a raccoon's tail, Mum. That? Ah. It's the B Street emblem. It's a knife. I know it's a knife, but we don't use it as a, as a knife knife. Well, what you use this knife knife for? Nothing. We just wear it. It represents a sting in our tail, you know what I mean? Oh, well, in that case, you don't mind if this queen bee take away this thing in the tail. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, you can't do that. Watch me. I need it. Today's the day I'm going to earn my tea in B Street. Well, I don't care if you're going to earn your X, Y, and your Z. But you are not, watch my lips, you are not leaving this house carrying this knife. Uh-uh. What you have to do to earn this tea anyway? Never mind. Uh, uh, what happened to your hand? Nothing. The other hand. Oh, that hand. <laughs> I ran into a lamppost. You were drunk. No, I wasn't drunk. I was mellow. Yeah, well, you're gonna be mellow because you can't cut hair. It's a good job, Tony, coming. Hmm? Look, I better go downstairs and open the shop. Bye, Mom. Bye, Sean. Put the jacket back. Oh, but Mom. <laughs> no buts. This is your chair. It's been giving us a bit of trouble recently. What's wrong with the chair? Well, it jams now and then. Well, look, it's Jan. I use your chair. Ah, rule number one. Nobody uses my chair. It's my chair. That's why I use it. Well, you can use my chair. No, you can't use your chair. Why not? Because it's your chair. Oh, don't be silly. Of course he can use my chair for now. Uh, no, no, look, it's all right. I'll use this one. Right. Your clippers and scissors are over there. <laughs> I told you he was cool. He's really nice. <laughs> But men like that aren't to be trusted. They use their good looks to walk all over women. Oh, we can walk all over me any old time. Yeah, yeah. me too. <laughs> <laughs> you like some tea? Yes, yes please, please, sir. sir. <laughs> yes, please, sir. Yeah, Mum, where my Tony's tea? No, you won't. You're going to school. You take sugar? Yes, yes please, please, sir. sir. <laughs> no, thanks, sir. Oh, sweet enough, eh? We'll see you later on then, Tony. After school, Tony. No, you won't. Now go to school, too, and he's here to work. Here, I've got something for you, Des. My name is Desmond. <laughs> Sorry, Desmond. <laughs> right. Name that tune. Java Jai. Yes. The Ink Spots. Yeah. Recorded 1950-something. <laughs> How do you know we play these games? Hey, oh, Michael told me. I've got a jazz and blues collection, Des. Month. Also got some rare grooves. Rare grooves? You know, old time styly. Uh, maybe we might get along after all. <laughs> right then, the first customer, please. <laughs> well done, Tony. I'm sure this is the start of a fruitful relationship. Cheers, mate. Don't you agree, Father? All right, sure, let's see you tomorrow. Des? Mum. Hello, yeah? All right, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye, Tony. Bye. Takings were up by 50%, which means that if we continue at this current rate of growth, there should be a healthy profit at the end of the year. Which also goes to prove my theory that we needed a junior. <laughs> <laughs> but try working with him rather than against him, Father. <laughs> Give it a try, Desmond. If it doesn't work out, we'll ask him to go. Oh, listen, don't I still love ya? Even though Tony is more handsome. <laughs> oh, 
Would you want a hand? No, I'll be up in a minute, darling. All right. <laughs> the profits continue to grow. I'll soon be able to build a house for you. <laughs> it is. Look what I found. Where's that, Bob's? <laughs> I found him rapping at the top of his voice in the middle of the eye road. <laughs> Thought I'd better bring him home before the old bill does. Oh, thanks, Lee. I'll see you later, all right? <sighs> Look at you making a fool of the family. Hi, Dad. Now, I'm a little bit drunk, but don't get mad at me, because you do all the time. <laughs> yes. But I'm over 18, and not legally responsible to anybody. I can do what I like. Yeah, man, you're well of a guy. No, don't be thirsty. I've got a good mind to box you. You're still a little boy. What have you got to say for yourself? It wasn't my fault, Dad. They didn't give me the tea. Even though I drank the free cans of super tea you have to drink to get your tea. <laughs> they still didn't give it to me because I wasn't wearing the raccoon's tail. Can you believe it? So you know what I told them they can do with their tea? They can stick it... On the raccoon again. <laughs> I mean, what have you got to do to get a tea? What's so important about the tea? Dad, if I had the tea, it meant I was a member of the B Street Posse. To get the B, you have to be bad. All that means is you walk around and look tough all day. E, easy rider. You do a few tricks on a BMX. A is for Aikido. S is for sex. You didn't, did you? <laughs> nah, we just lie about it. Everyone else does. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, Dad, they still wouldn't let me join. Well, if it's any consolation to you, the same thing happened to me when I was just a little older than you. Some friends of mine were setting up a band in Georgetown. Well, to join the band, you had to have your own instrument. Well, I know they wanted a trumpeter, and I was the baddest trumpeter in town. Jazzy D, they used to call me. So I work hard and save up my money, and I buy my own trumpet. So I went around to where the guys were rehearsing, and they still wouldn't let me join. And you know why? Because they needed a new trumpet, and I had a second-hand trumpet. So I... Left them on a farm your own band. <laughs> you don't need the B Street Posse, man. Farm your own posse. Blow your own trumpet. You're dread, Dad. Me no. <laughs> 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 